Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Surviving Mars, Invent of India. Now last time, not much of anything really happened. And that's kind of boring. Uh, but, you know, I'm just going to play this out and see what, what else happens. Now, let's start the clock. We have a meteor storm coming in one sol, and that's fine. Uh, but what we're at, we're at right now is trying to build up enough resources, particularly machine parts, to build some useful item, like the Mohol Mine, uh, which would be extraordinarily useful, but less so now that we have uh, uh, autonomous uh, extractors that, um, uh, that can uh, you know, produce without... Um, uh, workers, but uh, I see our uh, dump site here is uh, full, so let's uh, add uh, some more space there. Right, now, um, uh, so uh, what, uh, what I... Uh, what what I what am I doing here? I'm I'm not producing a lot. Oh right, I need uh, I need population. That's uh, that's the thing I need. Uh, right. So I got a rocket coming down uh, with moisture vaporators. Right. A rocket heading to Earth and a rocket coming with seven colonists. Right. Okay. So we're not doing too badly here. Uh, let's up the tempo here. Uh, the uh, meteor storm could be annoying. Um, it's a meteor storm after all, and you can't really defend against it without a tech far up the uh, robotics or physics tree. I can't remember which one. Uh, okay, so we're waste rock liquefaction. Uh, right, then we can do something with our waste rock, so that would be good. Uh, plutonium synthesis for sterling generators, where it'll make sense to build sterling generators there for sure. Uh, plasma cutters, yeah, gravity engineering, megadome. Uh, okay, so that's all. That's all fine. Uh, right, good. Uh, close that. Now, uh, we have a renegade problem, but uh, uh, I think for the most part uh, we're okay. Uh, right, uh, we've got a rocket that's here. Uh, good. Uh, Right, because I, I, I've got vaporators because I need to build more of them. Right. Uh, uh, right. And that was the cargo rocket. So, uh, right. Uh, we're going to go in here. We're going to grab a moisture vaporator. Now we can build one here. And we can put one here. And we can even fit one here. And we can fit one here. Good, right. Uh, now, uh, we need to put pipes. Uh, so we'll put pipes uh, here. Uh, no. Uh, no, uh, right. Um, pipes. Pipes. Uh, no. Pipes. Right, okay, that's pipes. Uh, right, and we come over here, and then we come over here, like that. Okay, that'll connect those up. Now, they need power. Uh, that's going to be over here, under power. Yeah, yeah. who knew you find power under power? Uh, yeah. It's a, a radical thing, really. Uh, what? The blazes was up with that. Uh, okay. Do that. Do that. And then we'll uh, land uh, these guys. Now. Uh, I need to get rid of that ridiculous cable that went like that. Yeah, that was just bizarre. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what happened there. It was pro because a mouse pointer went over the rocket, I think.
Uh, whoops. Uh, okay, so that's uh, seven colonists. 21 hours in the meteor storm. Um, right, so we got these vaporators up. We want to put the hygroscopic coating on those. Um, right. Uh, now that should uh, sort out our uh, water shortage. Especially once the hygroscopic coating goes up. Yeah. Yeah, because we have the polymers to do that, so that's good. Uh, I'd still want a few more vaporators, uh, you know, given uh, uh, given the option. But, uh, you know, it's fine the way it is, you know. Uh, and we're doing okay here. Uh, I need to get moisture vaporization, uh, or whatever the tech is, so that I can build them. But, for the most part, we're okay. And uh, we can just, uh, you know continue uh, our business uh, I really definitely need to get uh, more uh, uh, you know more engineers operating uh, I do have a university so I am training uh, the specialists I need so so that's good um, we're collecting uh, resources from the surface uh, so that's good. Well, we got a ramp up here and a ramp up here. Uh, yeah, okay, so we can access everything. So we're good here. Um, right, and we have... Um, oh, is that where the uh, storm is hitting? Okay. And we have uh, deep scanning operational now. Uh, right, uh, the transport has malfunctioned, probably because it was hit by a... Uh, a thing um, it occurs to me I shouldn't send the uh, rover out to fix it until the meteors are done uh, right so it's just about done there we go I'll send that guy out there uh, okay uh, and then Okay, the explorer is going to come and explore the anomaly. We're good there. Okay, yeah, definitely. Uh, now, I want to take a look over here. Um, we don't have anything exciting here, so yeah. Uh, we won't worry too much about that stuff. Um, yeah, good, right. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. Uh, what have we got in here? Uh, five rare metals. Um, what have we got in here? Nine rare metals. Um, don't export rare metals. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then we'll get uh, get them all over here. Um, good. Uh, Where is that guy? Ah, it was some distance away. Okay. Uh, right. Now, what do we we've got? There was a lot of meteor impacts over here. We got uh, surface metals over here. Ah, okay. That's what it was doing. Right. Good. Uh, over back to the colony. Uh, right. Uh, last time around, I had cleared out this dome. And I remember somebody's best friend was wandering around in here. I don't see somebody's best friend wandering around in there anymore. Okay. Somebody's best friend was a pony. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, a llama is somebody's best friend. A tortoise. Tortoises and llamas cute right okay well we got some uh oh, we got big water coming up okay right uh, okay so far so good we have um well we have plenty of resources to do what we need to do uh dumping your attention is required um Let's see. Uh, they can't keep this up for long. We can wait. 
Um, uh, um, oh, we'll just wait. Okay. Uh, there isn't really any particular percentage in trying to mess with that, so I won't. Uh, okay, so how are we doing here? We're producing 11 of those, 11 of those, three of those. Okay, so our resources are going up. That's good. Uh, food is... Uh, doing okay so that's good uh, okay now let's take a look over here well we'll launch that back to earth oh dear destroyed zone uh, drones one salvage it and uh, yeah good well We need, uh, now let's see, uh, yeah, we're, we're still, uh, chugging through that, uh, right, uh, how is our population doing? We've got a lot of youngins, so that's good, um, yeah, uh, considering the colony almost completely died a couple, three episodes back, uh, we're doing pretty good. Uh, so that just goes to show that uh, even though it looks like it's done, uh, with a little careful planning and a little bit of luck, you can potentially come back if you react the right way soon enough, uh, which is what we did, uh, obviously, because we're still around, right? Uh, okay, so we have a uh, rocket here. So we can get six... Um, Colonists, let's do that. Uh, because that's our problem right now. It's a manpower shortage, so uh, we'll we'll definitely do that. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, I think now. Do we have the ability to make a drone assembler? Is that under here? No, no. no. Is that under here? Drone assembler. We can make a drone assembler. I think it would be a good idea to make a drone assembler. Uh, so I'm going to put that here. Uh, now the reason I'm doing that is in case we need to make drones, then we'll be able to. Now we have enough of them for now, but uh, you know, lots of things can damage them. So we'll we'll build a drone assembler, and. Uh, and then we'll have it sitting around for when we need it. Um, yeah, uh, that seems like an idea. Uh, so yeah, we'll do that for sure. Now, uh, right, there it is. Uh, just about done. Good. Now, uh, I don't think we need a night shift on that. Uh, yeah, in fact, I don't think we need two shifts on that. Uh, right. Now, uh, we got some for our uh, rare metals. Now let's go over here. There's only one, so yeah, we won't grab anybody there. Uh, yeah, okay, so we'll leave the rocket there for a bit. Uh, we need the uh, uh, applicants to increase for a bit. Because uh, there's no point running the rocket back and forth for one uh, applicant. Um, right. Okay, we're up to 13 there. Um, we have seven vacant work slots. Um, okay, there's a rare metals deposit in the sector we just scanned. Uh, yeah, uh, so this is uh, potentially going to... Uh, be uh, fairly tedious. Um, now, uh, what can we... Okay, now we're doing seven water per... Uh, uh, you know, seven water, so it's per hour, I think it is. So uh, we're filling up our uh, water storage capacity. 
Oh, you can land. Uh, right. That should, I think, uh, fill up our uh, current uh, work slots in the factories. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, this should fill up or get close to, f to filling up. Uh, okay. Mostly full uh, there. So we're going to produce a lot more of those. And this is full. Uh, where's the um, other Dewey? Uh, I know I built one. Um, um, there it is. Uh, okay, I only have one shift running there, but I think I only need one shift there for the moment. Because uh, we're coming out ahead on that. Um, this is uh, building up pretty quickly. Uh, now, if I were to build the mohole... Wait, do we have any rare metals that are nice and close? We have one here. Now, rare metals extractor. Too far from drone commander. Well, I'm going to put the Rare Metals Extractor up there. Um, I'm going to put a couple of them up here. Because they work at half speed. I'm going to put a stack of them up. And then I'm going to uh, build a drone hub. Here. And then I'm going to build power. Uh, right. I'm going to find that under power, of course. Uh, right. Okay, so I can bring the power line. We have blocking objects over there. Wow. Uh, right. Okay, now we can connect up like that. Okay, good. Now, uh, right. Uh, I'm going to need a, a thingamabobber. One of those. A thingamabobber. Uh, put one of those there. Yep. Uh, and over here, uh, we'll activate those and deactivate those. And... Yeah. Okay, now... I'm also going to need uh, some of this. Okay, like this, like this, like this. Yeah, like that. Okay. Now, uh, that one... Uh, right. Um, good. Okay, the drone commander is uh, operational. We're bringing resources up. We're building the uh, extractors. Uh, yeah, okay. So that should get everything online. Yep, there we go. I really like this uh, autonomous uh, uh, extractors thing. Uh, then it allows us to uh, to do some uh, substantial um, operations on things like this uh, without um, uh, having to have a dome nearby. Okay. Right, so that one just needs to finish building. Oh, it's waiting for metal. Um, 
I think maybe I should put a rare metals depot here as well. Um, yeah, we have a great dust storm. Uh, okay. Well, this, we can do this. Good. Well, that gives us uh, some rare metals uh, production. And if I build the uh, amplification, uh, they'll work faster, and then we'll we'll exhaust that uh, fairly quickly, I think. But uh, yeah, it'll give us resources up until uh, the molehole, um, and well, that's uh, definitely uh, not a bad thing, uh, right? But that's the that that's the thing with the um, uh, autonomous uh, extractors. Uh, we can do things like that. Um, uh, right, uh, I think maybe I should, yeah, I'm going to also, uh, build a metals extractor or two right here. Just like that. Uh, because why not? We have the deposit there, and we can run our uh, extractors without staff. So why not? So autonomous drone hubs and uh, uh, autonomous extractors are are quite uh, quite good. Uh, now that used a bunch of uh, machine parts, but. Uh, you know, we're producing 15 of them per per saw, so, you know, that's not too bad. Um, okay, so we'll do this, and this, and this, and this. Uh, yep. So we're going to produce quite a lot of metals from this for a while, uh, and that's fine. Uh, right. So these will, uh, yeah, they'll get uh, they'll get finished reasonably quickly. Uh, now, how's this doing? Um, right here. Uh, yeah, we definitely need more people yet so that we can get. Uh, oh, we have unemployed people. Uh, right. Uh, do, what do we have that's uh, shut off? Um, Do I have a research uh, lab? Um, research lab. Uh, we can uh, hire some people in there. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, that definitely seems like a good idea. Right, uh, because uh, research is definitely uh, slowing us down. Um, uh, I think perhaps uh, research uh, Hawking Institute. Uh, no, uh, research. I'll build another research lab. That seems like the thing to do. Yeah, we have a, an Earthsick colonist, but uh, yeah, I think another research lab is a good call because then we can, uh, well, it allows us to uh, just uh, get our tech tree uh, run a little bit faster. Uh, we'll actually open all three shifts there as well. Uh, right. Now, uh, let's take a look here. We've got We've got in. Oh, okay. So we can enable uh, exports. Good. Now let's go over here. Passenger rocket. We've got nine. We'll launch those. Uh, yeah. So we're uh, we're tooling along here, uh, making some progress on things. 
Uh, a fuel refinery is not working. Why? Um, well, for whatever reason... Oh, do I have nowhere to store fuel? Is that it? Uh, fuel. Uh, that actually might be it. Uh, what's this? That's food. Um, I think perhaps I need to build some storage. Yeah, I think that that's... Uh, do I have these? I do. Okay. Uh, well, uh, let's go for a fuel storage and we'll stick it up up here. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, and I think we'll do a food storage as well. Uh, food storage, which will stick uh, over here. Okay, that'll give us plenty of uh, storage space for everything. Uh, right, uh, so far so good. Uh, shuttles. Um, we'll uh, definitely want more shuttles. Um, right. Uh, we're going to want more shuttle hubs too, but um, let's just uh, get the shuttles we have, the shuttle capacity we have, maxed out. Uh, because that will certainly uh, help things. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we have a full load there. You can launch. We have a full load there. You can launch. So that's 60 rare metals headed for Earth. And we're extracting these at 26 a day. So we're going to exhaust that uh, deposit real quickly here. Uh, but... Yeah. Oh, we got waste waste rock liquefaction. So, uh, I th oh we've got a uh, rocket we can land. So let's do that. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is uh, go in here and uh, uh, waste rock processor. I'm gonna put one of the one of these over here. Uh, that'll be more concrete and you know that'll be fine now I haven't upgraded these oh right uh, I should uh, do this and this yeah I like that I haven't upgraded those because they don't need to operate that fast uh, right okay so we lost a couple of earth sick colonists that's fine um, yeah. Now this, we can upgrade that. Um, right. Uh, so that's uh, that's going to produce some uh, some concrete. Um, now waste rock, we're producing seventy five per uh, per sol. Uh, so yeah. Uh, now I think I'm going to need to put a concrete depot over here. Yeah, that seems like a smart, smart idea. Uh, yeah, uh, so I can build a couple more of those, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll leave well enough alone. Uh, Yeah, we've got a whole bunch of food stored here, so... Right, uh, so... Drone assembler. I have enough people to staff a second shift. Um, we can build bio-robots. Interesting. They take five... Let's build a few of them. 
Yeah. Okay, we got a billion in funding from our uh, rocket trip there. Yeah, bio robots, uh, they don't die. So, uh, yeah. At least I'm pretty sure they don't die. Let's build a few of them. Uh, then, at the very least, as long as our colony doesn't doesn't die, we won't, uh, you know, doesn't starve or whatever. Uh, they, uh, uh, we won't run out of uh, workers completely if we have a cadre of them. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now here, oh, we're loaded. Go. Uh, now let's go over here. Passenger rocket. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll take those eight. Uh, yeah, so, so far, uh, we're doing okay. Uh, I want to get, oh, right, I want to get enough cargo rocket. How much of these can we bring? We can bring 95. Launch. Uh, right, how much does the... Uh, mo hole need uh, 240 and the space elevator 120 320 concrete 160 metal 120 polymer we are going to build the space elevator we are definitely going to build the space elevator can we shove it in somewhere uh, well yeah, we'll shove it over there. Okay. Uh, we are going to build the space elevator. It just seems like the thing to do. So, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, okay, so... Uh, here, we have all shifts running. Uh, we have all shifts full. Uh, we have uh, all shifts full in the polymer factory. Uh, let's um, let's add another. Um, bio robots. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, let's open this up to a full complement of uh, workers. Uh, right, plutonium synthesis. So what I should do now, uh, do I have triboelectric scrubbing? Um, okay, let's take a look here. Um, dust repulsion. Nuclear. High-powered jets. Um, I don't think I have triboelectric scrubbing. Oh, I do. No, nope, that's autonomous sensors. Uh, right. Creative nuclear fusion. Yeah, I don't think I do. Uh, right. Uh, well, let's grab that one. Um, fusion reactor, eh, that's eh as well, uh, the excavator's useful eventually, but, uh, we'll also grab advanced rocketry, um, yeah, we'll grab that as well. Um, right. Uh, close. Okay, so uh, bio robots are a uh, thing that we can do um, with the drone assembler. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so we're constructing those. Uh, let's um, put a full complement on here. Uh, now, uh, right, 
Good. Whoops. Uh, plutonium synthesis, that means that... Uh, oh, uh, rocket can land. We got more uh, funding there. Um, other rocket can land. Right, so, uh, yeah, we're producing a stack of those. We got more colonists. Uh, good. Okay. Uh, uh, that is uh, refueling, refueling. Uh, right. How's the space elevator doing? Uh, we're not doing too bad there. Uh, okay. Uh, now, the space elevator, I went for that one because you can import stuff uh, in dust storms with it. And you can export rare metals directly with it. Uh, so, uh, we'll turn that off and that off. Uh, we'll uh, build up the uh, rare metals inventory. We have plenty of them now. Uh, right. Now, how's this uh, doing? We're using 36, and we're making 82. Uh, so I can build a second one of these. Uh, but for now, uh, we're okay with, with uh, how things are. I'm going to need a few shuttle hubs, uh, ultimately. Uh, and uh, I'll definitely want to get those online. Uh, I should actually... Uh, over here, shuttle hub, uh, eight uh, of those. Well, let's put one here, one here. Uh, okay, so we'll do that. Uh, yeah, definitely do that. Uh, because I, I just need more shuttles to move stuff around. Uh, good, now... Uh, do I, I I still have uh, plenty of living space um, yeah okay so so far so good right uh, now over here passenger rocket we can get eight more yeah we'll do that uh, right and this here uh, we're it's gonna take a moment uh, right uh, well, I'm going to uh, grab a uh, another waste rock processor and put it here. Uh, right. Uh, when we get the Mohole mine operational, it's going to generate a lot of waste rock as well, and that will uh, will definitely uh, uh, we definitely want to get uh, maximum shuttles. Uh, obviously, I'm uh, causing a resource shortage, but we're producing a good number of the electronics now, so uh, it'll be a short-lived uh, resource shortage, so uh, it won't be a problem. Uh, here, uh, we've got uh, the machine parts we need just about all delivered. Then... Uh, the polymers are pretty close, so it's concrete we're waiting on. Okay, so we're going to do the upgrade there. Okay. Uh, now, uh, tribal electric scrubbers are in here, aren't they? Yeah, we don't have them. Okay. Now, what I want to check on, because I can never remember, Sterling generators take... F eight polymers for electronics okay so we'll be able to uh, build a bunch of sterling generators and uh, open them and that should provide 30 power each so uh, and they just need uh, polymers to uh, uh, to maintain them so uh, once our uh, polymers get to the uh, space elevator <laughs> uh, we'll be able to um, uh, uh, start accumulating them again uh, at a decent rate. Uh, I'm thinking I might perhaps 
want a second polymer factory. Um, uh, production polymer factory. Uh, I probably want to stick it somewhere like over here. Uh, yeah, perhaps like there. Uh, that needs... Yeah, we've got the resources for that. Now, this, we have the polymers. Uh, we have the metals. We're waiting on concrete. So, uh, that's well, that's not too bad. Uh, okay, so we're... I th think uh, I'm going to get the space elevator up. Uh, we just need 100 more concrete over there. And that is on its way. So... Yep, it, the space elevator will go up this turn, or this part, and then, uh, uh, oh, you can land. Yeah. Uh, you can go back to Earth, and you can go back to Earth. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what have we got here? Um, a saint. Uh, okay, you uh, don't export. Okay, now how are you doing? Uh, 280 of 320, uh, right? Okay, so we've got uh, some workspaces open, but uh, yeah, we've got uh, we got plenty of. Uh, of people now to do mostly we got a cold wave coming well that should be fun uh, right so at the first export of uh, of um, rare metals we might be importing uh, uh, sterling generator prefabs or something uh, well that would be an inter that's an interesting question uh, is a sterling generator prefab worth it uh, right. So the first export of, of uh, rare metals. Um, right. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, we're going to have a partial day on that. Okay. We've constructed a wonder. Got 5,000 uh, buildings not working because we don't have anywhere to store metals. Um, well, uh, we can put up a metals storage right here. Now, yeah, that's uh, the metals storage is full. Right. Uh, good. Uh... Right, that's obviously not working because it's uh, connected to oh so many things. Uh, we need pipes. Uh, you can go here like that. And you can do this. Okay. And we'll... Uh, do a full set of work shifts on here. Uh, yep. Okay, so we've got another polymer producer online. Polymers are a big thing you need if you're going to do things like um, sterling generators. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Okay, so that's that. Um, we have uh, passenger... Yeah... Yeah, we'll, we'll take that passenger rocket up. Uh, yeah. What are you doing? Um, analyzing an anomaly. Okay. Uh, right. Um, so far, so good. Yeah, we're not going to... Yeah, we're okay on, uh, on resources now. Uh, got a thousand. Uh, how's how's our uh, research doing? Plasma cutters at seventy eight percent. Okay, now let's uh, let's go in here. Yeah, nothing exciting there. 
Right. Um, now, this uh, metal storage we put up here, yeah, that's got uh, these things operating again. Uh, yeah. So we're producing 67 per saw. Uh, these, we kind of need more of those. Uh, so I'm going to. Um, yeah, I'm going to pr produce one more uh, machine parts factory. And I'm going to stash it here. Oh, we, we uh, need to explore stuff. Okay. Uh, seven, six, eight, nine. That's deep scanned. That, uh, that is, that isn't. Okay. Now we've got a cold wave. Um, yeah, we're going to have power issues. Um, right. Well, uh, what I can do is uh, actually a subsurface heater might maybe now uh, how long is the cold wave? One sol 21 uh, we have a fair bit of stored power um, but yeah, uh, okay, you can land, right, okay, so, uh, we have a stack of, uh, oh, right, okay, uh, down tempo, go to earth, space elevator, um, prefabs sterling generator is 200 mil we'll grab a dozen wait can we can we do them space elevator yeah yeah we can do it on uh, on the space elevator yep uh, so we'll launch that and uh yeah because what what's happening is we're drawing too much power uh okay um okay come on okay now uh power sterling generator come on Okay, good. Now, Sterling Generator. We have a dozen of them. Let's, uh, let's stick them over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12. Okay, and we will obviously need to grab a power cable, which we'll need to connect, connect them in, right, and, uh, okay. Plutonium core is polymers. Uh, okay, now we will open them and we will construct the upgrade and up tempo this so the wire gets built.
Uh, right. Because, of course, the wire is only half built. There we go. Uh, right. When the upgrades get done, that should... Uh, space elevator. Prefab. Sterling. We'll bring another uh, seven of them in. Uh, launch. Good. Idle deposits. Idle extractor. Uh, that is a... Well, we can get rid of that. Uh, we can get rid of that. Right. Well, that will uh, cut some power demand. Uh, right. Now, uh, we can build... Uh, uh, right. We can build uh, more uh, sterling generators. Uh, since the maintenance on sterling generators is polymers, uh, we can easily uh, handle that. Um, right. Yeah, we don't have enough stored power, obviously. So we're going to open those and upgrade them. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's uh, getting us uh, more um, power, uh, but, yeah. Okay, um, yeah, the, uh, it's taking a while to construct the upgrades because we're short on polymers, of course. Um, yeah. Uh, well, well, the cold wave is done in uh, in eight hours, so we should be okay. Uh, when the cold wave is done, our power shortage will be sorted out. And in case you're wondering, I'm going to stick like a triboelectric scrubber in the middle there. Uh, that eliminates the uh, maintenance on these things. Um, but yeah, so 30 power for one hex is quite a power density, and it's worth the... Um, well, let's, uh, let's go over here. Space elevator. Grab some polymers. Launch it. Yeah, we're... Um, that should get... Uh, what have we got here? Um, colonists has snapped, uh, yeah, we'll send colonists. Okay, good. Cold wave is done. Uh, whoops. So now our power problem is sorted out. And these things will um, will get upgraded, and then that should uh, that should make a huge difference, right? Okay, plasma cutters. Uh, we're repairing things. Um, yeah. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, we're we're definitely going to need um, uh, need a little bit of time for everything to settle out again. Um, right, we uh, we're going to need more um, more workers, obviously. Uh, right, 
Now, do we have a rocket here? Passenger rocket. Yeah, we'll bring some uh, some of them in. Uh, right, because we have 33 available work slots. What's our uh, population look like? Um, yeah, so yeah, we're doing okay. Uh, I clearly need more batteries. Um, I want we want to get this up to uh, to 200 for the uh, mo hole. Uh, right. Okay, so when these uh, Sterling Generator upgrades are all done... Are they all done? Uh, I think they are. Yeah, they are. Uh, okay, so now... Uh, is there an upgrade on... These have... No, all of them had... Um, no upgrades for those. Uh, right. Now, uh, we're up to max stored power. Obviously, I need to store more power. Funding. Okay, so what, are, what aren't we researching? Um, we need to research that. Uh, right. So, uh, obviously, uh, while I'm thinking about it, because I'll forget by next time, uh, we need to build a stack of these. Uh, like this. Yeah, we'll build uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So like eighteen of those. Um, they can deliver. Um, uh, they can deliver twenty. So eighteen of them. That'll deliver three sixty. Uh, so yeah, and the Sterling generators have got us up positive overnight. So so there's that. Uh, so yeah, we'll get the, uh, the power storage, uh, well underway, uh, well expanded, and, uh, that'll help us next time around for a cold wave. Right. Well, uh, those, uh, well, you can see them filling up, so that's good. Uh, right, so now... Now our storage capacity is up to 13,200, so uh, yeah, we should be okay there. Um, yeah. And now they're filling up, so... Yep. And we got a dust storm coming, so that is a good call. Now these things will take damage during the dust storm, but they will continue providing power. I could close them during the dust storm, actually. Uh, okay, the following texts have been revealed. Deep water extraction, tri triboelectric scrubbing. Uh, we'll take that out. We'll put that up. Yeah. Good. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, this is where I'm going to leave it this time around. So, where's the mouse pointer? Pause. Uh, so, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, the colony is doing okay. Uh, it could be doing a little bit better, but we're not doing terribly. And, uh, you know, I'm going to work next time around again. I'm going to work toward uh, the... Um, the um, the who's a what's it? the molehole, um, and then uh, from there, uh, there we'll uh, we'll go forward. Um, but obviously, I need to make sure to uh, build proper infrastructure, as the cold wave showed. Anyway, uh, that's all for this time. So stay healthy during the zombie apocalypse. Uh, 
You know, I'm not saying what it is because the uh, YouTube algorithm doesn't like it if you do. So the zombie apocalypse, stay healthy, and uh, I guess uh, see you uh, same time next week, I guess. Uh, so uh, that's all for now.